Hi, I'm Chelsea McBride. I run a big band called the Socialist Night School. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Everyone was just so grateful for how this was even possible. Look what we made. Look what, <laughs> Look what you did, Chelsea. <laughs> Look what you made possible. Look at what we did. We toured across Canada, 11 cities, five provinces. Not bad for the first time out. <laughs> Twenty people on the road, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, so so we're a 19 person big band and that's a lot of personalities to stick in the same pressure cooker of a bus. And we lucked out on the tour is that we just had the best group of people to stay together and to be this one thing. And you learn about each other through the structure of that weird little family. <laughs> Yo, Justin. Yeah. Tell me something. Um, yeah. It's been just so nice to hang with such cool people. Hey. And play all this cool music. Uh, hey team, let's like, get in place because we still have to strike the stage at 20 after. It was a lot of that sort of just like, I have to let go. I have to let go of stressing out over every little detail because if I put the big picture together, everything else falls into place. Their most recent album, their debut album, The Twilight Fall, won rave reviews and just got four stars in Downbeat Magazine, which some of the best players in the world can't do that. So, these are some of the best players in the world. That if you ask for it, you get what you win. Honestly, this feels so legendary right now. This is the essence of what we've accomplished right now. It's also just like it was like on the tour where we'd have these like crazy storms and then they'd go away and then we'd have these crazy storms and then they go away. And it feels like that with the way that people interact. It's like it's not perfect all the time. And then you get the magic. And even being stuck in the middle the weird stuff is magical. And I guess that's another thing about the Socialist Night School and where my tunes live is it's not, it's not the predictable stuff, it's not the pretty stuff, it's sort of the awkwardness of learning about yourself and about each other and trying to find someone who likes you for it. It's, and like, it, it's it, not an easy journey. It gets deep, too, in those nostalgic realms. Yeah, it has to. I mean, at the end of the day, we want to connect with something or someone, whether that's art or people or, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you want to connect with. It's just that you have something that you find meaning in or someone you find meaning in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have this overarching concept of what the tune should be and then the rest of it just happens. The rest of it is I take this piece of music and put it in the hands of 18 people that I trust and they come back to me with their interpretations of this overarching idea and it all comes together into a whole. <laughs> all of a sudden I'm looking out at this band and I'm like okay well we're here now and everyone's looking back at me like yeah we know. <laughs> we'll wait, we trust you, it'll be okay. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it'll be fine. What was I worried about to begin with? <laughs> And the audiences were just there and present and ready to hear the story of 
because I mean, the Twilight tour is a little presumptuous. It's the life story of you. It's this cherry picked thing of like, I guess this is what people experience because I don't know, I'm 26. Um, but people were there ready to be like, yeah, I relate to this. I understand where this comes from. And that was the biggest surprise to me that I was telling this thing that, you know, came from some corner of my mind and people are like, yeah, no, that's, that's about right. <laughs> You know, I didn't start this thinking it'll be the same people for five years. I didn't think we'd make it to like day two. And then I can go across the country. Being on the other coast, by the way, so fantastic. Um, the Socialist Night School tour took us from the Pacific to the Atlantic, all the way across. Awesome. And beyond. It's almost like the journey and the process and getting to show it to other people and the things that we encountered along the way was way more important than any of the notes we played. And I think that's true of the shows too. I think the way that we connected with people, we made them feel something. And it wouldn't have mattered what the notes we played were, but it matters that they left happy and smiling and feeling something with the intensity that we perform it with. So I think that's the thing I'm most thankful for is being able to do that. Ha, 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 ha.